Welcome back. It is time for another post bag. Let's just dive straight in uh, with the package I already opened, but I still wanted to show on this post bag video because I was happily surprised by something. These are just some 0603 SMD LEDs. Nothing special, you would think, but when you open them, if I can manage, you know how normally you can't really tell what LED it is until you light it up? It seems they found a solution. I don't know how well this is visible on camera, but the plastic cover that is on the tape has a different color. So blue, white, yellow, red and green. So this really solves the problem of having to check each reel to see which color it is. Sometimes there's a little sticker on there, but when you cut that off, you lose the sticker and you still don't know which color it is. But this is a very good idea. Next up, it says copper wire. And it is, it's I believe enameled copper wire, uh, 0.2 millimeters, and these go with some other, I shouldn't be pointing at myself with this sharp knife, wait a minute. I am doing some experiments with copper wire and ferrite rods or iron rods, uh, here's one of them. Basically it's just some playing around, but I wanted to see the different effects the different gauge of wire has and also see what type of core works the best. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video on that but some more copper wire for some more experiments. Next it says spring test probe. Let me feel where it's kind of safe to open it. And these are some pogo pins. If you've seen the video about the Dom Tower, I exposed some pads on the PCB, which include VCC ground and UPDI. And my plan was to use a sort of jig where I can mount three of these pins and then mount the board down and easily program the AT Tiny that is on there. Let me grab the PCB. So here's the Dom Tower PCB uh, with the pads which currently have some solder on them uh, because I just soldered some wires to them. But the idea is if I make a jig which the PCB will fit in this way and mount some pins on a prototyping board or some other way I could just squeeze them down onto the pads if it wants to focus I could just squeeze them down onto the pads providing power, ground and UPDI next one no description it's a surprise if I can get it open there are some loose transistors in there and also a bag of chips let's first look at the transistor this is a NDP 6020P which is a P-channel MOSFET it's a logic level P channel MOSFET. I do already have some N channel MOSFETs, the IRLZ44N, and this is a P channel MOSFET, which I can't remember why I bought, but I must have had some plan for these. Anyway, I now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of them. And as soon as I remember what I was planning to do with them, I have 10 of them. The other thing that came in the same package are some ICs. These 
there are five of them. Let's get one out. And these are some OPA2134 PA, the ones that go into the mini amp. Now, I normally buy them from Mauser, which are the original Texas Instrument chips. At least that is what I expect when I buy them from a known seller. Uh, it's Texas Instrument now, it was Burr Brown. But these are from China and I have no idea if these are real. But I just wanted to give it a go because the ones from AliExpress are a lot cheaper than the ones I buy from Mauser because they're like five, six euros for one chip and this was I believe just two euros. So I'm not expecting these to be real and if I'm going to sell the mini amp kit, which I'm planning to do, I will use original chips. But this is just to see if I can detect any difference between the ones from China and the ones from Mauser. Next up, integrated circuits. And well, these are not integrated circuits. These are some male headers. It's kind of tightly wrapped, so I'm not going to unwrap them on video because that's just going to take too long and it's kind of boring. So I believe these are 40 pins and there's 10 per set and I have two sets so that's a quick calculation 800 of these pins that should last me a while next up is again no description and oh well I already did this next up it says resistor and they are an assortment of different values of 0603 resistors. So I keep these in stock for the Minium version 3 and I was running out so I just stocked up. It's nothing very special, just some 0603 resistors. Next, ferrite rod. And it's just that it's a ferrite rod now these ferrite rods are usually used for antennas and are a bit different than these it's also a lot bigger these go with the copper wire and I wanted to see whether different types of ferrite rods will make a difference in the magnetic force and I believe they do, but then I wanted to see what the difference exactly is. So, some ferrite rods to experiment with. Next one, no description. I feel there's some kind of SMD reel in there, so I have to be a bit careful where I open this. I can open it right here. Well, that's not open. Again, well they are resistors, so they're not marked on the reel itself, so I have to actually look at the resistor to see what value it is, and it's kind of hard to do while filming. Yeah, I believe these are the same as these, uh, only from a different seller. When I order something and I'm actually waiting for it. I usually order the same thing from multiple sellers and hope one of them gets here pretty quick. But in this case, they both arrived at the same time. But you can never have too many resistors, right? And the last one for today, electric soldering irons. Now I do have an idea of what this is, just by the feel of it. and it's one of these so this is one of these brass soldering iron cleaning things with a holder and I already have 
one of these cleaning things. Oops. But I forgot to order a holder for it. So what I actually have been using is just a glass bowl with the thing in it. And it actually works quite good. But it doesn't really look professional now, does it? So I ordered one of these, which then the brass thing goes in. This one goes in there. It sits nicely on your bench. And I'm kind of pushing this away. So what I'm probably going to do is stick some rubber on there so it doesn't slide all over the place. But this looks much nicer than this. And these are today's postback items. Thank you so much for watching. Links are in the description below. And I hope to see you all very soon. I'm off making projects. Bye bye.